I'm Alex Clark from Denison Yachting, and today I'm going to take you on board the 2010 150 foot Richmond, appropriately named Excellence. Today we're in the Abacos and Marsh Harbor. We're going to start a walkthrough of Excellence on the aft deck. You've got this beautiful built in sitting area with high low tables. Great for having cocktails or if you want to do a little bit more formal dining. Built-in bar area with granite countertops and then easy access to your swim platform. Typically the main salon is where you first welcome guests once they step on board the yacht. Here we are in a great open floor plan that flows nicely from the lounge area directly into the formal dining. But once you start looking a little bit closer to the details, you're gonna notice mahogany interior with a satin finish with burl inlay throughout the cabinetry. One of my favorite details are these onyx sconces that add just another elegant feature to the decor. You have nice low profile furniture that doesn't block the view, leads you right into the formal dining. And if you do want a little bit of separation where the stewardesses are setting up the table for dining, you have a 42 inch plasma screen TV that pops up to give you just a little bit of separation. You've got a beautiful table here with inlaid burl wood, comfortably seats up to 12 guests, nice gold leaf accent on the ceiling, and beautiful cases to display your crystal. Just forward of the formal dining, you're gonna have direct access to the galley, which I love for silver service. Entering into the galley area, you've got direct access from the main deck for the crew, great stewardess prep station, and what I really love about this is that the builder took the time and effort to put these beautiful granite countertops that accent the entire space. You have an extremely well-equipped galley here. You have the island space, great for prepping, refrigerator and freezer spaces, commercial grade stainless steel appliances, and of course, you have this beautiful window allowing a lot of natural light inside. And continuing down from the galley, you have direct access to the crew mess. Here we are just forward of the main salon in the guest foyer. You have direct access from the exterior of the boat. One of my favorite features on board, dual level wine storage. Continuing forward, you have day head to starboard, and then you enter into the full beam master suite. Entering into the master cabin, you first encounter this lounge area, twin leather recliners, dual sub-zero refrigerator drawers, and you're gonna notice the mahogany decor continues throughout. To starboard, you're gonna have these custom portholes that allow a lot of natural light in, plenty of drawer space. Here, opposite of the king berth, you have 46 inch plasma screen TV, walk-in cedar lined closet, beautiful vanity, and again, large custom portholes found to the port side. All the way forward of the master cabin, you have his and hers bathrooms. To starboard, you're gonna have his, and to port, you're gonna have hers. The primary difference between the two is that the starboard side is gonna have a steam shower, and to port, you're gonna have a large jacuzzi tub. Exiting the master cabin, we're gonna continue down the center spiral staircase into the guest accommodations and the main foyer. Here we are in the guest accommodations in the foyer. What you're immediately gonna notice is this great space for the stewardesses that has a sink, two sub-zero refrigerator drawers, and you're gonna have direct access to all four guest cabins. And of the four two guest cabins, the starboard one is the only one with two twin beds, and the other three have queens. Here we are in one of the two aft cabins. First thing that I notice is the headroom. I'm six feet tall, so you have at least seven feet of headroom throughout. You've got a centerline queen berth, and in each ensuite guest cabin, you have Kaleidoscape on-demand movies with over 2,000 movies in the library. Of course, each guest cabin is an ensuite, but these aft two cabins have the great feature of also having a bathtub. Continuing up the central spiral staircase, we'll go from the foyer up into the sky lounge. Again, some very cool detail work on board the Richmond. Some of this etched glass, which actually has a chart inlaid. Here we are just forward of the Sky Lounge in what I would consider a multi-purpose space. As you can see right now, it's being used as an office. There's also a treadmill. But to me, this, is, this can be converted as a massage room or a nanny cabin 
or even a game room with a flat screen TV and the built-ins. One of the reasons this is my favorite space on board is that it's actually a very livable space, um, very welcoming. You've got a nice lounge area here, complete with Kaleidoscape on-demand movies, so you can watch you know, up to 2,000 movies if you like. Full service bar, again, with some of the nice custom glass work behind it. Card table over here. This is the most popular space on the interior. Here we are all the way forward on the upper deck in the wheelhouse. You have a settee here, which is a great vantage point to enjoy the view while underway. Two stid captain's chairs, and a very nicely laid out helm station. Six flat screen monitors, vertical windows, great visibility when underway. And to port, you have what would be considered the sixth VIP cabin, or it could also double as a captain's cabin, depending on how you want to run the vessel. Exiting the sky lounge, you enter the aft area of the bridge deck. This is your main alfresco dining where you can comfortably seat up to 12 guests. And what your chef's really going to enjoy is that to starboard you have a Viking stainless steel grill. And just forward of that you have a full mini bar, flat screen TV, and then all the way aft you've got four lounge chairs complete with side tables, great for enjoying the view while underway. I think it's a great space. And of course to port you have stairs that lead down to your main deck aft or you can continue up to the sun deck. A favorite among guests and the owner, the sun deck. Back aft, you're gonna have storage for all your tenders and toys, lounge area, and once this space is entirely clear, it's actually rated for a touch and go helicopter operations, which is extremely rare for 150 footer. Again, Richmond paying attention to all the details. You've got teak decking, a lot of bright work, full service bar with a flat screen TV behind me, some bar stools, and then opposite, one of my favorite features is the day head. Continuing forward of the bar, to port and to starboard, you're going to have identical sitting areas, great for alfresco dining. And then behind me, the highlight of the deck, the centerline eight-person hot tub and flanked by sun pads. Heading down to the swim platform from the aft deck, the first thing that you actually notice is how large the space is, what in my opinion is probably double what you'd find on a typical 150. Uh, behind me, you're probably hearing uh, the generator of the engines, and you're going to have direct access to the engine room here, as well as two crew quarters and you also have engine room access to the port side of the boat. Here we are entering into the engineer's control room, which is located just aft of the engine room. What's important to point out about this space is that not only does the engineer have an air-conditioned office, but he's got great countertops and sink for uh, machining, spare parts if needed, full toolkit, access to the shore power converter, which allows you to plug in anywhere in the world, and then of course, uh, if needed, you can go directly into the engine room without a problem. Excellence is powered by twin MTU 16V 2000 series M91 engines. Those are 2000 horsepower each. Excellence will cruise at 16 knots or you can pull her back to a fuel efficient speed which will give her a range of 3500 nautical miles. On behalf of Denison Yachting, we really appreciate you spending the time on board Excellence, the 150 foot Richmond. If you have any questions or want to arrange a private showing on board, feel free to contact us at any time.